everybody. We're back. My, uh, my next guest is a terrific actress and received an Academy Award nomination for her performance in the film Boys Don't Cry. She can now be seen in the brand new movie Shattered Glass. Please welcome the lovely and talented Chloe Sevigny. You look beautiful. Thank you. Will almost wore that outfit oh, when he came here tonight. Kept it short Inches short. away. <laughs> Then he decided that wouldn't be cool. No, thanks for being here. Sure. You know, I understand we have something in common, which is my mom is a fanatic for good manners. And when I was a kid, she didn't care about anything else, but she was sort of a freak about manners. Your mom the same way? Did she, she would go to great lengths, yes, to really, you know, drill it into your yes. head. Like I, when I was little, I would smack my lips when I ate. You know. We were eating, so she made me sit with a sign in front of my plate that said, don't smack your lips until I stopped. That sounds like something out of, like, uh, the wall, you know? You don't get any... What is it? You don't get... How can you have your pudding if you don't eat your beef? That just sounds cruel and arbitrary. But I also have fun with it. You know, I had a book, like, The Muppets Do Manners. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I didn't have that. My mom just had the cattle prod I just used on Will. They just... I don't eat soup with your feet. Come on! Let's go. Uh, no, I, now, do you bring that into adulthood? Are you yourself? I do. I mean, I think it's kind of, you know, a blessing in a way, but it's also a curse because I had this boyfriend I lived with for years, and um, I was always like, his eating habits were really disgusting, and we'd get in fights sometimes in restaurants, and he'd often leave, you know, and stick me with the bill, so that wasn't very nice. I'm glad that guy's out of your life. I think we all are. But, I mean, how, was, it, was he doing really bad stuff? I mean, was he... You know, I, I mean, was, he was he smearing doing, his face with chili and going, ah, or was he, he was. He was a kind of extreme. I think he was doing it just to piss me off. Yeah. Right. Okay, so he was trying to push your buttons, which yeah, I think is exactly, wrong. Yeah. But but now do you kind of lay off a little bit because... I do. I try, yeah. yeah. Just let people live. Live yeah, their lives. People do their thing however they want to do it. Yeah. You live here in Manhattan? Whereabouts? I live um, on the east side. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! People always do that. People always do that. But you know what? Never about the east side. <laughs> I hate the west side. I won't live west side. What are you talking about? I'm on the west side. You are? Yeah. No. Yeah, well, this is like a really, uh, <laughs> this isn't really like the sharks and the jets really right here. This is, this is a really sad west side story. You and me fighting in an alley. Uh, we, um, the, what, so, so you live over there on the east side. What, your apartment isn't very big, though, is it? You're it's very small. Like, I, how small? I'm embarrassed even to say, well, I'm not embarrassed, but no, it's 200 square feet. <laughs> Try the size of your bathroom, Will. Two hundred square feet. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, it's like nice you have to step nice outside to, nice to change well. your mind. <laughs> um, I'm out there with my present boyfriend, so it's very. Yeah, no, wait a minute. That is literally two hundred square feet. Like I'm thinking about this. Nineteen feet by twelve feet. Yeah. Nineteen feet by twelve feet. Yes. That's your entire living space. Yes, but I have a little terrace too. That's like what? two feet wide, maybe <laughs> nineteen feet long. <laughs> Two feet by 19? What is it, a strip that goes out into the city? It's like a walkway on the prow of a boat. Uh, I can see all of Manhattan. That's why, you know, I but, yeah, but that's such a that's such a crazy... You can't use a terrace most of the time in New York City. It's too cold. It's too cold, and the summer's too hot. So I had a terrace, and, and when I so once... You can't use it, period. No. You no. just look out the window at your terrace all the time while snow is falling on it, and you're really sad. But sometimes you can feel really, you know, claustrophobic in the city, so it's nice to be able to go out in the terrace and see the whole skyline and everything, so... Do you ever just say, like, it's mine, all mine, standing over the city? That's when you, when you have a terrace, it's great to walk outside and look at all of New York and go, mine, I control it. I do that a lot, and people just yell at me from the street. You're sad, O'Brien. You're a pathetic shell. Uh, let's talk about the new movie, Shattered Glass. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about this. Um, it's a true story about a writer who wrote for the New Republic that fabricated all of his stories. And, um, well, maybe 80% of them. And, um... He was caught, and there was this big article in Vanity Fair, and it really upset, I think, the people in, in journalism a lot. And almost took the magazine down. It almost took the magazine down. You, you, do you like, you say, you go in and you see uh, the, the premiere, or mm -hmm. you see the, the first showing of the movie. Do you like looking at yourself no, up there? No, absolutely not, no. 
<laughs> Why? Especially in this film because it was all lit from from above, and uh, so before every take, <laughs> the cinematographer would be like, "Lift your chin." So when I watch the movie, I'm here like acting like this with my chin in the air. Why can't they just move the light? Why are they <laughs> telling a beautiful actress to like our lights over here? So you have to be like that the whole movie, You're walking around. That that just seems wrong. I know it is wrong. It was unfair. And that's just the, the, what they they have the light. What is it to keep the shadows yeah, away from? Keep the shadows from under your eyes. You know what someone told me to do for underneath your eyes, and I did it for a while. They said put this ointment on it. And I was putting this ointment on it. I didn't know if it was in an unmarked bottle. Uh -huh. This is for like two years here at the show. I know what it was. Preparation, preparation H. Yes. It was preparation H yes. because it shrinks the tissues under your eyes. Yep. And, and I was like, why didn't you tell me? And they said, because it's mostly for your ass, and we didn't. Know. We didn't want you to say, take this ass cream and smear it on your face, TV monkey. You know so. <laughs> Someone referred to you as a monkey earlier when you thought <laughs> People always refer to me in derogatory, and I won't have it. We have a clip here from uh, Shattered Glass. Anything yeah. we need to know? I think uh, it's Peter Sarsgaard and I, we're a journalist, and we're fighting over the fate of um, what will happen to one of our colleagues. Okay, let's take a look at this clip from Shattered Glass. Make sure you go all the way back, because half of them ran when Mike was still here. That's what this is. Of course. I mean, what are you going to do, Chuck? Pick us off, one by one, everybody that was loyal to Mike? Do you have a staff that belongs to you? Is that the kind of magazine you want to run? Caitlin, when this thing blows, there isn't going to be a magazine anymore. Now, if you want to make this about Mike, make it about Mike. I don't give a You can resent me, you can hate me, but come Monday morning, we're all going to have to answer for what we let happen here. We're all going to have an That's what it's like. That's the intensity we have in this work environment. That's me yelling at my coworkers. Shattered Glass is now playing in select cities. Uh, Chloe Sevigny, thank you very much for being here. Thank very cool to have you here. We'll take a break. We'll come back. Sarah Vowell coming on the show.